Hello, welcome to Chapter 3 Minerals, Section 3-2, Mineral Identification. For the most part, scientists identify minerals using their physical properties, like hardness, luster, specific gravity, color, and cleavage or fracture. Hardness is a measure of how easily a mineral can be scratched. It's measured using the Mohs scale from 1 to 10, with 1 being the softest at talc and 10 being the hardest at diamond. Another way to identify minerals is with its luster, and that's the way the mineral reflects light. Metals are shiny, and nonmetals are, are defined using the words dull, pearly, or glassy. Measuring a mineral's specific gravity can also be a way to identify it. Specific gravity is like density, but it's the ratio of a mineral's weight to an equal volume of water. It's the heft of a material, and it's how to tell real gold from fool's gold. Streak is another way to identify a mineral. This is the color the mineral takes in its powdered form, and you take a mineral and rub it against a ceramic plate. This is called a streak test. Last but not least, the way a mineral breaks can also be used to identify it. If it's a smooth and flat break, then we call this cleavage. If it's uneven and jagged, it's been fractured. Now let's take a look at visually what this means. In the picture for hardness, you'll see that quartz is scratching calcite, making quartz harder than calcite. For these luster pictures, you can see that the metallic rocks have a shine to them. The non-metallic ones on the bottom level are much duller and not or glassy. A scale is sometimes used to measure a mineral's specific gravity. Remember, it's the ratio of an object's weight to an equal volume of water. Here's a streak test showing the difference in color between hematite and magnetite. Here's the example of smooth and flat breaks or cleavage that I was previously talking about. Slate is a perfect example of how a mineral will cleave or break evenly. Finally, take a look at the more jagged and uneven breaks displayed in the fracture picture as compared to the cleavage picture with the slate. And this concludes section 3-2.